Welcome back for another episode of the Ultimate Duck Boat Build 2.0. We've got the Four Rivers Refuge Runner here, and in the last video, we installed the hydro turf and did some LED light strips around the inside of it. We're gonna continue with this build and add a few more things that are gonna be necessary for the life of this boat. First and foremost, we're gonna be installing a 13 and a half inch light bar. This is the biggest light bar I've put on a, a small boat like this. So I'm pretty excited about it. I got the kind with the feet that you can adjust. So I'm gonna mount it here on the front, right? And so I'm gonna leave the uh, bolts here kind of sort of loose-ish enough to where I can rotate it. And so I'll use my light when I need it. And then I'll do like a little 180 here and have it pointing down when I'm out hunting so that I'm not glaring and flaring off birds. I also did a little shopping on Amazon and found a navigation light. So we're gonna be installing that as well. And we've got one of these bad boys. This is an all around light. So I got the kind with the uh, detachable post and we're gonna be installing this today as well. We got a few things to figure out. Uh, we're gonna save this for last because we're gonna have to probably mount the motor on this thing. So then we know where to put this to where it's not gonna get smacked by the motor when I'm turning or doing something like that. Let's go ahead and get to working on this project. So first things first, we gotta figure out how and where we're gonna be mounting this light bar. So we've got a couple of options. We can mount it with the feet on the bottom like this, which that would probably work out okay. I don't know exactly how much rotation, probably good enough. Or I can mount it like that. So let's see if that'll be able to rotate the way I want it to. Kind of thinking I want to mount it like this, but I almost feel like it'd be sturdier to mount it right here like this. I think that's probably the best move, honestly. It'd probably be fine both ways, but I think just structurally, I think it'll be more sound being bolted on to the fiberglass here versus up here. So let's go ahead and find our center mark. We'll go from end to end here, 27 inches, 27, 13 and a half is our center point. That looks like it's pretty well centered up. Let me look at the front. So what I did here is I just marked a center line on the light bar itself. And we're gonna line that up with the center line on the boat. Give it a pretty decent gap and I think that should be right where it needs to be. Yep, that looks pretty dang good. We got a handful of parts here. Got lock washers, little rubber feet for the little deals. Let's go ahead and uh, drill out this hole for this cord to go through. So they gave us little rubber feet there. That'll kind of help everything grip pretty well. And the bolt through. Washer, lock washer, and a nut. And boom, light bar is mounted. So there, we got the light bar on. It actually looks really good. I think that's gonna be a good choice. If you guys are looking for a light bar, I will leave that one linked down below. Uh, it seems like it's definitely better suited for this than the one I used on the Marsh. So let's go ahead and grab that navigation light and slap that on the front as well. Looks like it didn't come with any screws for um, mounting it to the boat. So I'll have to go find a couple that are long enough but we need these to attach that to the top part. I am what some might consider to be a bit of a hoarder. I just kind of hang on to random odds and ends and that's paying off today. We got some machine screws, so we'll actually get to bolt this light on instead of using screws. So that'll be perfect. Let's get this thing centered up and mounted on there. So here's a little trick that I picked up. I don't have a marker that can fit in there. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of grease on the end of this bolt. And make a dot. And that's where I need a drill. That's where I need a drill. <laughs> 
slide it through the hole. Uh, found a couple washers. All right, so there we go. We've got the front nav light installed. We've got the light bar installed. Uh, we'll have to go through and wire everything up, but I think now at this point, we need to go throw that transom bracket on so that we can know exactly where to put that all around light in the back. Ideally, in a perfect world, I can find the perfect uh, amount of looseness for this to where, you know, it'll stay in one place, but if I'm gonna be hunting, I don't want this showing and it's gonna be above the cover on the deck. Yeah, there we go. I don't know exactly how quickly that would wear out, but that's a fairly solid option there. I don't know. I might just keep this Allen wrench in the boat and uh, when I'm done with the light bar, just go ahead and loosen it, move it, tighten it back down. One little thing to keep in the boat. I could probably tether it down with some like electrical tape and a string. Find a good place for that. We've got another bracket for the PPF wood duck. There's our bolts. Now we need to find our center mark. Go ahead and pop this sucker on there. And boom. There we go. That actually, that's gonna work so good. It's almost like this was built for this boat. It wasn't working that great on the Momarsh on the corners of the transom, it would hit. But this, oh my gosh. Flawless, baby. It's exactly what we needed. So here we have the uh, little receiver end of that all around light. And so what I was thinking was I could probably go ahead and stick it somewhere kind of right about here or so. So it would kind of come off at a little bit of an angle. And the only way that it could possibly really get hit by that is if I go way over here, which I don't generally do that because I drive the boat like this, facing the other way. And so if I was to go all the way over and smack it, I mean, that's, that's a really far swing. I would more than likely pull that way and then do a 180 or turn that way. So, you know, still have quite a bit of movement here left to right. I mean, realistically, we're only talking about driving it really like this, unless I'm trying to do some really tight turns. So even then I could just pop it out, go in and then, yeah. So I, I think that'll work out good. So I think mounting it somewhere kind of right along here would be a good spot for it. And so I'm gonna need to get a one inch Hole. I measured this as one inch, so I need to cut a one inch hole in here for that to fit. Um, let's also check and see if this comes off at kind of like some kind of angle at all, or what are we, what are we looking at here? So if I go in like that, that would actually work out pretty good. Pretty sure this was extendable. At least I thought it was. Cora, that's a bumblebee. You don't want to eat that. Or is that a wasp? Whatever it is, it's gonna sting you and you're not gonna like it. Okay, I guess we'll grab our little uh, hole saw. Okay, that's not an inch. What the heck?
Hey, hey, there we go. Perfect. It's a pretty tight fit on there too. There we go. That's how we want it. I'm definitely gonna put some silicone on that. So I actually think I bought the wrong thing here. Um, I thought I bought one that telescopes. This one does not. So I'll have to order a new one, but no biggie. <laughs> you live and you learn. So I don't know. I could probably actually use this on the big boat. So I'm not going to go to waste there. All right. Just figured I'd throw that in the video because I know people like to tell me if I'm doing something wrong regulation wise. Well, I figured that one out myself. Well, there we go, guys. We got the uh, all around light installed here. There we go. We've got front lights and rear lights. I think this will work out really well. I mean, that's plenty of room without hitting that. And it's only a limited amount of time that I'm running this thing at night anyway, so really no big deal. And if I gotta pop it off, I'm in a situation where I need to, I definitely can. Go ahead and put it right back in there. This was uh, pretty much what I wanted to accomplish. Things are kind of coming together on this Four Rivers Refuge Runner. and. We got the motor installed, we got the transom or the all around light, we got the nav lights up front, and we've got the old light bar on the front. Cora, no, don't eat my pencil. It's looking really good. Like, for the amount of time I've taken to crank this out, it's going pretty quick. It definitely helps that I did it once before. So, uh, just kind of going off of what I learned on the last project, and this one's coming together really well. So, I am going to need to add one of these to the Momarsh boat, but we'll get to that here in the future. I think what's coming next is a little bit of wiring and getting the cover figured out and might have to do some modifications to the cover to fit everything that we've added. So stay tuned for that. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.